we got a bunch of Australian snacks. Where did we get these from? Target. Target, apparently. Um, and so these are Tim Tams, which we've never had them before. They're kind of like a little bit like a Kit Kat in this, in that they have a filling and then there's like a wafer and they're covered in chocolate. Not really though. Um, you'll see when I open these. Again, I don't know why we didn't pre-open these, but that's a question for past me, who has no answers. Uh, these ones are chewy caramel. Oh, they are a little bit melty, so that's going to be great. Okay, sorry. That's like just got a nail in it, though. Okay, so you can kind of see what I mean. Uh, they are they are melting all over my hands. Um, but they have like two layers of wafer, there's a filling in the middle, and then they're covered in chocolate. several hours later as this one melts in my hand. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, they're a little bit, they're more like a, like a Girl Scout cookie. Almost like a, like if a Thin Mint was two layers and it was caramel and chocolate, not obviously chocolate and mint. Um, these ones are actually kind of a lot more, the, the green package is a lot more like a Thin Mint, but this one is, it's kind of hard to describe it as anything because we don't really have caramel cookies here in America. But um, yeah, I like, actually they have like a, it's like a fruit flavored one I think. And that one was my favorite when I was in Australia. I went to Australia many years ago. Um, if we can find a picture, there will be a picture here of me with a koala, but I don't actually know where it is. Dad might have it on his computer though, but yeah, they're, they're, they're like good, but like this is not something that I would necessarily super go out of my way for, you know, uh, in terms of like Australian treats. Uh, I'm going to hand this to somebody off camera who's going to eat the rest of it. And I'm going to try a different one. Oh, these are less melty. That is so weird. <laughs> these are way less melty than the the um, caramel ones, but let's see if I can break this. See, you can. These ones are a lot more like uh, thin mints on the inside. Pretty much exactly like a thin mint, but it's rectangular and not circular. Oh, see, now they're melting. Now it's melting on my hands. <laughs> It wasn't melting already though. The other one, the chocolate is so soft they accidentally left a fingerprint in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are very much like um, Thin Mints. So if you ever want Thin Mints and you see the Dark Mint, they're called Dark Mint, Tim Tams, um, I would definitely get those. Oh, also, um, if you're gluten free, I believe it's Goody Girl has a Thin Mint. I don't remember what they're called. They're called like chocolate mint cookies or something. Those are also very good. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay gluten-free prices if you're not gluten-free, but they're not super expensive. They were like six or seven bucks for a package, and that's basically we're paying for Thin Mints anyways, right? And it was about the same amount, so. I was happy with them, but again, it's gluten-free. I wouldn't necessarily, they're not like the best cookies ever, but they are very good for being gluten-free. Uh, that's not what we're reviewing right now, though. <laughs> I really like these. These are pretty good. I would probably, not necessarily go out of my way, but if I saw these, I would definitely get them. Um, the caramel ones are just, I don't really like caramel and cookies for some reason, but yeah, sorry, it's melting in my hand. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna eat the rest of this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hmm. Where that didn't go to work, I told the bus